Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be nice to share some cooking inspiration with you guys. Uh, nothing fancy, just what we ate last week. Uh, my husband is comes home late from work every night, so it's just me and the kids usually. So all the meals are kid friendly, they're super simple and they are quick. Um, or you can make them in advance. I uh, hope you like the video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lenny. I'm a Dutch mom of three boys and I'm sharing family inspiration and motivation. So if you want to see more of me, hit the subscribe button down below and you're on your way. So it is Monday and we're having pasta with cherry tomatoes and Parmesan cheese. Uh, once or twice a week we like to eat a vegetarian meal. Uh, we love meat and fish, but there are so many reasons to skip them once in a while, you know, mainly in health benefits, uh, but also to reduce global warming, um, economic reasons, and you know, it's much cheaper too. So yeah, I heat up some olive oil in a pan and I add a chopped onion and a bit later three cloves of garlic. I fry them for a couple of minutes until, so until they're soft and sweet and then add the cherry tomatoes that I cut in half and uh, yeah, just give it a good toss. Um, add some good quality balsamic vinegar and some uh, chopped basil and set aside. Then cook the pasta in some salted water. By the way, my kids usually eat some raw vegetables as a snack around 4 o'clock, but today they got home late, so I served them with dinner. Um, today it's carrots, cauliflower, cucumber, bell pepper and kohlrabi. Uh, my, my kids don't always eat cooked veggies, so this way I make sure they get their vitamins anyway. So when the pasta is ready, add the tomatoes and yeah, there you go. Add olive oil, some rocket, some parmesan cheese, some parmesan cheese to your taste. And it's so easy, simple and quick. Today's meal is about emptying my fridge. I have some vegetables and some chicken breast left that I need to use up and I'm turning those into a tray bake. Uh, usually I do this with chicken thighs because they're nice and juicy, but you can also use some sausages. Uh, you can bang in all kinds of vegetables, so in our house this dish is never the same. Today I have sweet potato, onion, parsnip, bell peppers and pre-boiled baby potatoes. Just add some olive oil and some seasoning that you like. I use pepper and salt, some Provencal herbs and some paprika powder and some Cajun spices on the chicken. In the oven on 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about half an hour or 40 minutes if you used the chicken thighs. Halfway I added some leftover tomatoes and mushrooms. Again, very simple and healthy. Today's meal is a kid-friendly chicken curry. Uh, you can make the sauce in advance, by the way. Just add some olive oil in a hot pan, um, add a chopped onion and sear the pieces of chicken breast. Add a tablespoon of curry powder and a teaspoon of cumin powder and a little bit of chili powder. Uh, we are Dutch, so my kids are not used to spicy food, but by adding more chili, you can make this as spicy as you like. Give it a toss, add approximately 100 milliliters of water. I always measure it in a baby bottle and half a cube of chicken broth. Then let it simmer for a few minutes until the chicken is done and then add 125 grams of creme fraiche. If you can't buy creme fraiche in your supermarket, you can also use uh, sour cream. Stir it in and let it simmer until the sauce is a bit thicker. I had some parsley left, so I washed it and cut it with a pair of scissors. So I made the sauce a little bit earlier today and now I am heating it up. Uh, I add a little bit of lime juice to it and I serve it with cooked rice and peas. And my kids are picky with cooked vegetables, but they like peas. Um, yeah, some parsley on top and we're good to go. Higher. 
I also offer my kids some pineapple, um, they just love that in the sauce. On the menu today we are having cauliflower potato mash with uh, minced beef. It is an oven dish that can be easily made in advance. Uh, just peel some potatoes and clean the cauliflower by removing the leaves and cut them into florets and wash them in salted water. Um, I put the potatoes in cold water on the stove and then set the timer for 25 minutes. And in another pan I am frying some minced beef till it's nice and brown. After 10 to 15 minutes I add the cauliflower to the potatoes so they are both cooked at the same time. To the mincemeat I put a chopped onion, some garlic and mushrooms. Then I add ready-made stroganoff sauce. Uh, I really prefer to cook with uh, fresh ingredients, but sometimes you just don't have that much time and you need to compromise. So yes, I am guilty of buying ready-made products from time to time. Um, lightly grease an oven dish and spread the meat over the bottom. Mash the potatoes with the cauliflower and add some creme fraiche or sour cream to make it smooth. Uh, you can also use some butter and warm milk. Season with salt, pepper and my favorite spice, nutmeg. I just love nutmeg. Um, cover the meat with a layer of the mash and sprinkle with some grated cheese. Uh, stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it. So today I decided to make pizza, I needed something simple because I'm a bit in a hurry, I'm going to an opera with a friend tonight, so I bought ready-made pizza dough and it comes with a can of sauce. I like to roll out the pizza dough so it's thin and more crispy and then I spread out the pizza sauce on it. Um, for the kids I make a simple one with grated cheese and for me and my husband who got home early I made one with zucchini and when it gets out of the oven I love to add rocket, some dried Italian ham and I drizzle that with good quality olive oil. Today it's Saturday and we're having sausages with roasted baby potatoes and a variation on the famous um, Waldorf salad. Um, I start with pre-boiled potatoes that I cut in half and I add some peanut oil because I ran out of olive oil and put them in the oven on 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes until they are golden brown and crispy. Um, the sausages are in a frying pan and I started making the salad. The original classic Waldorf salad is named after the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York where it was created in uh, 1890 something. Anyway, so I rinsed off the dirt from the uh, celery and I peeled off the stringy bits. Uh, you can slice them up but I, I use a machine to do that so the slices are really thin and delicate. That's how my kids like them. I washed some raisins, I left them in the water, set them aside to soak a little while, then I peel an apple, chop it into cubes and add it with the raisins and some walnuts. Walnuts are extremely healthy by the way. Then a quick dressing, nothing fancy, uh, just some mayonnaise and I had an orange left so I dilute it with some orange juice, season with pepper and salt and that's it. You can also use some water or lemon juice. Uh, that's it for the salad. Mix all the ingredients together and set aside. So some crispy roasted potatoes, a Waldorf salad and some nice moist and tender sausages.